Well, hello to all you. I, my name is Greg Reed. I'm the life coach with Merrill Brothers. Good to uh, have you on this uh, recording today. I was uh, thinking the last week about uh, the therapy that I had following my ACL surgery, my surgery on my knee, and I went to uh, physical therapy, and there was a guy named Ken that was my therapist, and I called him the titan of torture because I said, Ken, I want to be able to play racquetball again, and he took me seriously, and so, I mean, he stuck electrodes on my leg. He did all kinds of un inhuman things, but it was all for a purpose of uh, getting my leg better, but it really hurt. Um, but that was not anything compared to the hurt that I felt when I had kidney stones. And I can still remember the day I was curled up in my office on my floor. The office manager came in and said, can we help you in some way? And I said, no, just make this pain go away. And so all of us uh, deal with physical pain, but I'm convinced that the deepest hurts that you and I will come, will experience in this life come from people. Maybe it's a parent, a teacher, a boss, a mate, a friend, a child. Uh, if I ask you to raise your hand and say, hey, how many of you have been hurt by someone in your lifetime? My guess is every hand would go up. If I said, how many of you have been hurt this past year by another person? My guess is every hand would go up. And even if I said, how many of you have been hurt sometime in the month of October by something someone said, something someone did, something they failed to say or they failed to do? Hurt, that kind of hurt is just a part of life. So the issue is not, will you be hurt by another person in words or deeds? The issue is your response. Are you going to respond in healthy ways or unhealthy ways? So I believe that the solution or the antidote, we've been going through Psalm 23, and I think this fifth solution um, deals with the idea of hurt. It's Psalm 23, verse 5. Uh, let me read that verse for you. It says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. You see, the shepherd's task was to seek out the best pasture and deal with any potential enemies. Sometimes those were poisonous plants, sometimes it was animals, something else. They would always be on the lookout for whatever enemies might be confronting their sheep. And God does the same thing for us. And so I think the principle to take away from Psalm 25, from Psalm 23, verse 5 as it relates to your hurt, is to let God settle the score for you. It's almost this idea of if there's a hook over here and, and it's what people have done or said and they're on your hook, I try to visualize you putting them on God's hook because God says, I'm going to deal with those enemies. He said, I'll prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So my counsel and advice to you is let God settle the score for you on the basis of Psalm 23, verse 5. Hey, let me just pray for you. Maybe you could just take a few moments and picture maybe a recent hurt or something from this year, this month, uh, that it's transferred from your hook to God's hook and just say, God, you're going to have to settle that score because it's too painful for me. Father, I pray for the people that are uh, listening and watching that uh, have experienced some hurt. And I just pray that whatever's been on their hook, they can transfer it to your hook and let you settle the score. Thank you that you're a good shepherd and that you talk about the fact that you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, that you deal with those potential enemies and you help to resolve uh, the hurt. And so we just give you thanks that uh, you're the solution to our hurts in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great day. And again, if I can be of any help to you, please uh, reach out to me and let me know. Thanks. Have a great day.